In this video, we're going to look at how we can produce and make binaural beats within Ableton Live. I'm going to show you the basic techniques of building an instrument so that you can create a binaural effect to dial in the specific type of brainwave frequency that you want to play with. Now, if you want to look into the theory and basic concepts of binaural beats, I suggest you check out the article at subaqueousmusic.com where I also have a free PDF that walks you through what binaural beats are, how you can affect and use them within Ableton. And then this video is just going to show you how to start building these instrument racks and audio effect racks. All right, so let's look at it. So first thing I'm going to want is I'm going to want two frequencies. I'm going to want one on the left and one on the right. That's the very basics of working with binaural beats. So what I'm going to want to do is throw in an instrument rack. Now in this instrument rack, we have here these different knobs that open it up. We're going to look at our chain selector. I'm just going to right click, create chain, and create two. This one I'm going to call left, and this one I'm going to call right. And then you can just go ahead and pan them. Great, so now I have whatever's in here will be on the left side and whatever's here in the right side. Great, now I just need to add an instrument. Well, I've definitely found the best way to do this is with operator. So if I drag an operator, I'm going to first turn off all these oscillations. I don't really need them. I just want one to start. And then if I put that to fixed, I'm going to go there. And I can dial in that specific sound. Now I'm going to just control C or copy this and paste it here. So now I've got both a left and a right, but they're not different. They're just right now the same frequency. And what I like to do is I'll just right click, map here, and then right click, map here. So let's call this left freak, right freak. And everything is better when you color it, I swear. So we're just going to color these so that we can see what's happening here. And great, now let's set this to, uh, let's go with 220 and 220. Now you can see this is a fixed frequency to whatever I set that to. But if I want a binaural beat of, let's say, 10 hertz, all I need to do is make this one 210. And now I'm getting that binaural beat effect. And I can always just come in here and dial these if I ever want to change it throughout my track. Now when you're creating a binaural beat, we might be drawing this within the timeline. Now what I like to do is I just uh, create a MIDI track and then it doesn't matter. Any note will play the same frequency. It's fixed. So that goes all the way across. And then that would just play the same all the way. But let's say I want to modulate that through time. Now if I click this, I can go ahead and create breakpoints and it will change through time. So you can see that moving. Now there's only one issue here, which is it's really hard to get the specific. So there's two ways of dealing with this. So what I do is play this. And then I make sure that overdub's on and I hit record. Now while it's recording, I will put in, let's say, 230. Now as soon as I let this go, it created that breakpoint. And that breakpoint might be hard to actually draw in itself. So if I zoom in here, we can see that breakpoint. And all I'll do is I'll delete that one. And I'll delete that. And now we move from what was originally Oh, I forgot. I have to make a break point there. And then we move from what was 210, and it slowly moves up to that new one, 230. So that's a great way that you can create break points and then kind of move them around. But there's another way. If I enter into my map mode, I can make this a smaller distance. So let's say I know in this track I'm playing around 200. So I could just say from 190 to 250. 
that just gives me a smaller range. So now it's a lot easier because now each increment is a single frequency. Where before, since I had from what, 10 hertz to 200 kilohertz, it was like each movement was uh, 10 hertz. So this makes it a more doable range. So you'll just see this is very slowly moving. So I can get out of map mode, and there we go. That's the very basics of building an instrument rack. That's the very basis of building an instrument rack within Ableton Live to create binaural beats. Now, if you don't have an operator, there are other things that you can do. You can drag in. Now, if you don't have operator, for instance, now if you don't have operator, for instance, you might have to drag in some other synthesizer of sorts or a sampler. But what you can do is, let's say I have a simpler, let's just throw in some type of pad. I'm going to throw that same pad in here. Now the issue is I don't have the ability to change the frequency the same way. I have detune, but that's not exactly what I'm looking for. So what I found that works the best is to come into your audio effects and then put in a frequency shifter. Let's say it's in the left one. I'm going to shrink that. And then what I can do is frequency. Then I can shift just the left by, let's say, 5, or let's make it 20 hertz. Now, this isn't the best way to do it. I don't think that Frequency Shifter has the exact quality and stability of the tone as you would if you just made a sine wave. But if you're in a pinch, you can try that one as well. And the key is to still have a left and right. So there you go. That's the basics. And if you want to learn more about creating isotonic tones within Ableton, I have more advanced instrument racks. Like, let's come over here to binaural beats. I've got these different binaural beat effects as well as these generators. So I'll just drag that one in. And you'll see that I have left, right, waveforms, volumes, all these different controls to make it very easy, as well as tone generators and all these different ways for you to easily create binaural beats. So check out subaqueousmusic.com to get the full pack to get kickstarted in making binaural beat tracks and isotonic tracks within Ableton. And you can check out the free PDF that walks you through all the different concepts behind what binaural beats are and using them within live.